Hello everybody, welcome to another RC Junkie video. Very quick introduction. This is going to be mode eight of the new Bier RC SM4 four-way switch. This is the little unit here. These are the dimensions covered in previous videos of how it would fit in your truck or vehicle or model, whichever you're building. Um, and I've done previous videos of how I wired up my test rig and how this all corresponds to all this writing that's on my transmitter. Literally, I'm gonna go straight in and we're gonna put it using the programming sequence, put it into mode eight. And once we're in mode 8, we'll cover what mode 8 can do. So, as I say, I've done a separate video of how to do this, but literally we're going to look to put the unit into mode 8, which is four-way light switch, single step switch. Become more apparent in a minute. We're looking to have a yellow flashing LED. So we should be, the unit should be in mode 7, being since the previous video. So it should be in blue, red, and green flashing. So I said I've done a video of how to do this, but we're going to literally put it into programming mode. That's it in programming mode. You can now see the unit is displaying the lights here. Oops, excuse me. We have blue, red, and green flashing. As I say, you can, in my videos, I explain why I have a plus and minus on here. Plus moves up the mode, negative moves down the mode. So at the moment, we have red, blue, and green flashing. You can see here, coming through the paper as well. Hopefully so you can see that there. That's in mode seven. So we want to go plus into mode eight which should be yellow flashing. Hopefully you can see that there, yellow flashing. So yellow flashing on its own is mode eight. So that just puts us into mode eight. Power the unit off, power the unit on. Now Bier recommend you use it, do that by pulling and inserting the actual servo cable in and out of the receiver whilst leaving the receiver powered. I'm just using it like this for speed on my test rig. So mode eight has basically five states and we're using plus step and a minus step using mode area A and area D, so which is full A and full D. So it's full left and full right. So we're going from 1.8 to 2. So say you can set your rates on here if you wanted to, to so that um, when you do, you can bring the rates down so that this becomes a dual rate error. There's really no need from this because you can do a full or full. Um, or you say you could assign it to a switch. So that would be A, and that will be D or vice versa, whichever way you want to function it. So you can see on here that in state zero, no lights are on. Well, no lights are on. Output one is off. Output two is off. Output three is off. And output four is off. In state one, which is up a state, up a step. So states refer to steps here. So up one, we get one. But that's off, that's off, that's off. And then up the next one, the second light comes on, but the first one goes off, three off, four off. On three, one off, two off, three on, four off. On four, off, 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 on. So we'll, we'll see how that works. As I said, we're going up and down on the stick, so A and D. So we should get steps of nothing, green, red, blue, yellow. And then we can step back. Okay, so we just go through that. So we're looking to go left for step up. So step up, step up, step up, step up. You saw there, we got, and if we go up again, it goes off. So the step, the state repeats back to zero. So one, two, three, four, off, or one, two, back down, down. So you could go up, up, up to get to number three, down one to get to red, number two, down another to get to green. Or you could go up two to blue, down two to green. Or, oh, excuse me, I went four, I went too far, so we've gone to blue, so we can go down to red, go back to blue, back to red, back to blue, back to red. Now you wouldn't necessarily use this as an indicator. This unit has an option for doing turn signals, hazard lights and two sets of lights. We will cover that in the next modes, which I think might be next, next mode nine, but we'll check when we get to it. So you'll need to tune into the next video. So hopefully that explains that. So again, we go five steps and we're going up the steps and then back. And we can go for any point. So if we're at point two, we can step back. If we're at point two, we can step forward and vice versa, three and four. As an example, we're in step two, output two. We're in step two, we can go down back to step one. So hopefully that means something to you and is beneficial. As I said, these are LED outputs. 
but you could use them as negative trigger outputs to trigger other units, whether they be relays, other functions, other options. Um, maybe not a motor, because depending on how much load is on here, these are limited. And I've covered that in the specs of the video. But certainly you could run this to a relay, like a small triggering nine volt relay, which then could trigger a much higher output to maybe send, you could use it to send your um, tipper bed up and then maybe this sends it down. So you could have, right, that's my tipper bed up. That's my tipper bed down. And maybe these ones here for something else. Entirely up to you how you program it. I'm just going through explaining each of the modes and how, how they work and how to program it. Hopefully that was beneficial to you. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.